Welcome back. Traction boards. Off my lads as well. Shot. New camera as well, so this footage is crap. Don't blame me. So if these traction boards right, where do you stick them? And how do you stick them? And what do you use for? Stuff like this. In the traction, ooh, what is the deal? I wish I would have just stayed inside or just bought a truck before we drive. I did try and find a field, so I apologise for that. But every field in Wigan, right, is either boxed off, two metre height barrier on it, or there's big lumps in it, stop jippos getting in it, so we had to make do with what we had. So some might say, like, what have you got traction boards for? Your van's a two-wheel drive. Well, one, it's rear-wheel drive, and it's the slightest bit of loose material on your back wheels, that's it. See a bomb, and it's gone, mate, it's stuck, should I say. And two, four by fours, yeah, they use them, but Nine times out of ten, they probably use four traction boards for them. It makes it a lot easier for them to get out. You know, us, us two-wheel drivers have some real-world issues with these vans. And especially with UK bloody climate. I mean, every field we go to is either bogged down, waterlogged, or it's just, just a mess, really. So basically, we need traction boards. So I dropped a few hints at Christmas, said to the lads, like, you know, if you're looking for something to get made, get some traction boards and that. And they bought me these, which the spot on and these are basically they're a max track knockoff and they're virtually identical the only thing different on these is these have got like like an eight mil stud on them max tracks have got like a flat edge piece and they're at slightly different angles so the grip of your tires catch it but for the sake of like i think these were like 50 60 quid these and they're on amazon and that you know what i mean but they're absolutely bob on and you've got a high pitch side and a low pitch side there you can also use them as a shovel as this man did Go and watch his videos are spot on them. We've got the traction boards, right, I'm thinking, right, how do we mount these to the van? Where are we going to mount these to the van? I don't know. Now, a few people have side-mounted them on the side of the van where the back panels are. They've mounted them on the spur wheels, stuff like that, you know what I mean? It's, I don't have the capacity on the back of my van to st store them on my spur wheel um, because there's just nowhere to put it. I'd love a box on the other side, but I just haven't got one of them yet. So we looked at mag mounting because... There's a few people as well, they bolt them straight through the van. Now, I've converted my van already, so I'm not definitely not going to start drilling some more holes inside of it just for bolts and um, traction bolts to it. So, I found a few companies, and they do mag mounts, so they mount, they have a magnet which mounts to the side of your van, and basically your max tracks or whatever, your cheap holes, what I've got, uh, mount to that, and then mount to the side of the van, which is brilliant, until you see the price of the damn things. Wow. Now, I appreciate it. Bit of design work and all that, bit of research development has gone into it, but some of the prices I've come across to like 160 quid. For a bloody magnet set of magnets now you do get four magnets yeah fair enough but eesh, times are hard i can't be forking out 165 quid just some magnets so i went to amazon now you might think well you're still buying magnets but they're a damn sight cheaper a lot cheaper than what some of these uh, guys are charging they come in a pack of two so there's two magnets there and there's what six magnets inside it rare earth magnets as they call them or whatever neo medium and they're dead strong the, these stick like they're just strong so basically got to set these right now they do these in different sizes and stuff so you can have a look on that i'll be, I'll put a link at the bottom for what i pay for these and you can have a look at them and that but these come with an m6 internal thread on them and they also come with a pack of bolts as well which they're, they're not very big i mean they're already like but look the tiny i mean you're not going to get that mounted through that thickness of that traction board's bigger than that so basically you can just get yourself depending on you're going to mount them if you have them both stacked together and mounted on one, one piece, you're better off just getting a bit of 6 mil threaded bar, poke it through, and then just cut it off to where you need it, you know, for the max tracks and that. But what I ended up doing was, got some um, M6 bolts, basically. They don't happen massive, just enough for it to go through, grip it, and then I've got a bit of a, a lock washer on it, and then I had some big washers as a test piece. So what I've done is, I've just sprayed up the washers, because they look a bit shite in silver on it to be honest with you so i just got some washers sprayed them up black stick bolting stick a lot of washer on bolts and then just punch it through that so basically that's what it'll look like when it's on but i also 3d printed some caps as well you can buy these on on anywhere and you don't have 3d print them i can buy black bolts if you wanted to and basically that that just caps goes over that so it just looks tidy it just looks a bit more black should i say and magnet goes up back at traction board and basically that goes through your traction board and just screws into that it's dead simple and it's not 165 quid magnet top ice end we roll this and look that magnet just sits about four mil three mil proud of these lugs at the back here on the traction board stick your bolt through probably about six or seven threads on that if you're lucky spin it up 10 mil socket on back end lock it up nice and tight 
There you go, mag mount for peanuts. You can actually see at the back there. Put a little cap on, just make it look tidy. There you see it. One mag mount on a traction board. Like I said, if you're putting two together stacked up, just get a longer six mil thread bolt, doddle. So we'll get all these four wads on now, and then we'll decide where we're going to put these on the van. Now, I looked at basically putting one either side of the van, right? So it was in two minds whether do I stick them on here? Oh, I can't took my finger off that then. Stick them outside, Joe. What do you think of that one? Does it look good there? Or do a mount them on the back end at the top there? No. Up there is probably a bit better because I can then mount a little tiny securing wire to the roof rack or the unit strut what's up there and basically if, if your magnets ever fail or you don't feel too confident going up motorway with them you know there's always something there which will keep all that traction board and it also stops scrotes nicking them as well which is probably a good thing really but i don't know in two minds what do you think stick them outside like that one or stick them up top put them both together now you can't have them both up top on this side because of its sliding door if you look at the top end up there Sliding door basically, when it comes up, you've got about a bug's dick gap between it, so they don't fit. I've tried. So let us know in the comments what you think, and also as well, the blue. Now, God bless me, lads, the choice, you know, I think blue van, blue mats, but I think I personally got them in black so it matches like the, you know, like the blue with black effect and what's going on. So, should I paint these in Rapture? Gar granted, that if you use them, they might get scuffed up in that, but end of the day, that's what they're for. They're not such as your. So, should I go Raptor? Or should I just leave them blue? Let us know in the comments. If you like this stuff, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe and uh, listen to me chat shit more, crack on. See you later.